Welcome to the Apex Games ALC's tutorial. The All Father has sent me to teach you how to hunt and to let you know there are four different types of aim assist. One, hip fire. Number two, aim down sights or ADS. Number three, melee. And number four, per optic. Hunting starts with learning the basics. Turn on custom look controls. We will start with dead zones. This determines how fast or slow your joystick movement gets registered. Small dead zone means your stick movement gets picked up faster. With a bigger dead zone, larger movements is required to see any movement on screen. <laughs> Our tour is right. Small dead zones can cause stick drift. Outer threshold determines your max stick input. It also defines where any extra yaw and pitch speeds take effect. A closer outer threshold can be beneficial if you desire a faster extra yaw or pitch. Moving on to response curve. Response curve determines how sensitive your joystick responds to your movement. Lower numbers give you a linear response, while bigger numbers give you more of a classic. Hey, amigo, it's my turn to take over. Silva, here to play again? We're talking about speed, and who better than the master himself? Oh, yeah. Fine. The true test lies with the All Father. All right, amigos, let's jump into yaw speed. Not only does it let you control how fast you look left and right, it has a hidden function that also controls how much aim assist you have. So it's aim assist versus turning speed, and don't worry, wouldn't leave you behind without a chance to catch up to me when we fight. Turning up yaw speed gives you speed, and speed is good, but it's useless if you can't control it, plus it also gives you very little aim assist. Don't worry, the guy editing this video will give you an example. Roll the clip. Now that's speed. Now let's do the opposite and turn down yaw speed. I know I know we're going slower, but like I said before, wouldn't leave you without a way to catch up to me. And for that, we need turning extra yaw. And this little baby is pure speed. Now you can see how much aim assist is added. Roll the clip. Haha, -ha, look at that. If you're sticking to me that strongly, I'll develop separation anxiety, which can be a problem since my true love is, you guessed it, speed. Next is pitch. Same as yaw. Pitch speed is how fast you look up and down, and we can see how fast it is when we turn it all the way up with very little aim assist. But don't worry, we can fix that by doing what I hate the most. Slowing down. Like yaw, we will add turning extra pitch to add that fuego to help out in the slow department. Now that is sticky. Wouldn't want to be caught in that crosshair. Ha 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 ha. Just a few more things left, amigos. Turning ramp up time is your optional response curve on how smooth you want the turning extra speeds to kick in. And don't forget, you can also make it activate faster by turning up your outer threshold. Ramp up delay is waiting a certain amount of time after reaching the outer threshold before you can see ramp up time. Melee aim assist is on by default. It's tied together by your yaw and pitch speeds. When in holster mode, it will slow down when an enemy is nearby, making it hard to reposition. By turning it off, you can look around freely without staring into those beautiful deadly eyes when you're trying to get away. That's it for me. Can't be standing still long enough or I'll start to feel my legs getting numb. Ha ha ha! See ya on the battlefield. Hello, friend. I'm Pathfinder, your friendly neighborhood happy robot looking for my creator. I was told to teach you how to be precise and deadly when you ADS, like me. ADS yaw speed works the same way regular yaw and pitch speeds, which Silva explained before he left. Turning up the speed is great if you're trying to hit the walls, like my grapple. Oh look, that is fast, but not deadly. Look how hard it is to control your aim. Even micro adjustments is too much to handle. Turning it down increases your aim assist. And with how fast you are going, you're gonna need it. Let's also add ADS, turning extra yaw. Look, friend, it's more sticky. Now you can be deadly, like I am. Don't forget to adjust the settings to your preference. ADS pitch speed is exactly the same as regular pitch speed. For homework, you can try it for yourself. ADS turning ramp up time is your other optional response curve for your ADS turning extra speeds. ADS ramp up delay determines how long ramp up time activates. I hope my creator didn't add that function into my systems. Could explain why I am a little slow processing what my best boyfriend Mirage says. Ooh, I'm so happy to see many cute friends still here. Hello, Ms. Paquette. Bonjour, Pathy. Did you know the internet thinks I am your big brother? Should I start calling you little sister? They are funny. Everyone in the Apex Games is my family. So you are my big brother. 
As a big brother, I will let you explain the next section. Merci. We have so many little friends in Per Optic. We have one time little friend, two times little friend, four times little friend, and even the big ten times friend. 1.0 sensitivity is the same as your ADS urine pitch speeds. Shocking, isn't it? But don't worry, I am ecstatic. Haha, <laughs> get it. To show you that every optic can have their own aim assist, let's focus on our two and four times friends. Let's turn up our two times friend to generate some speed and our four times to about half. Admit it, I'm funny. These jokes will jolt you awake. As you've already seen, two times friend is fast. Don't blow a fuse. Trying to ground it, haha. <laughs> okay, one last pun. You can see our four times friend slows down around the target, making it easier to hurt your enemy. We hope this tutorial helps you, and here are some quick reminders. Remember the basics. Speed is good, unless it's uncontrollable. There is such thing as too much aim assists. More importantly, have fun. Thank the meatbag that made this, or I'll kill you myself. <laughs>